God, how am I going to start this? How am I going to start this? This is so whack. Alright. Okay. So, Raijin. It's a three-hitting slash move. You can keep pulse out of it. But there is a alternate version called Ultimate Raijin. Well, I guess that's just what the community calls it. And basically, what it is, is if you time your R1 correctly, um, with all, with uh, Raijin, you'll get three additional hits. If I could do it properly to showcase it, that would be nice, but if not, that's fine. There we go. Okay, good. So, Ultimate Raijin. You can basically time it whenever you want, um, as long as that charge that you do there is timed properly with the R1. And the way that I have discovered um, how to use it is obviously the, the very basic way of using it is by releasing um, R1 during the middle hits of Raijin. Uh, and if you time it properly, then you'll get those extra hits. Um, the way that you can tell that you've done Raijin properly is if there is no key pulse window to come out. Oh, I'm trying to get that done. But that's gonna be difficult. But um, that's that's how you know for sure that it uh, that it's working. If it does have a key pulse window, then it's not working. Um, uh, I thought that was the one. Uh, I thought that was the one too. Very uh, very difficult technique to pull off for sure. That might be the one. There you go, yeah. Okay, and here's what I want to get to. So, the important discovery that I feel like I've found, I'm not sure if anyone else has found this, so um, if anybody wants to correct me about that, then go right ahead. But, I found an alternate failsafe method that can potentially still get you uh, your ultimate Raijin. And basically, the way that it works is... Of course, like I mentioned before, um, the proper way that you want to do it um, is by releasing the R1 press, um, and that will net you your ultimate regen. But if you happen to mistime it for whatever reason, um, you can actually press triangle to activate it again, uh, and you can literally mash it. You don't have to time it at all. There's no timing this at all, whatsoever. Um, I am just so bad at this right now. Because I'm like trying to speak at the same time. But yeah, there's a there's an alternate method, uh, a fail-safe method, that you can use by simply pressing triangle. And it's pretty fucking cool. And I want to show it off, if I can. There you go. Yeah. And so you can basically do that whenever you want. Whenever you want. You can time it whenever you want. You can time it at the very end of your move. You can time it whenever you... Like, as early as you want. You can time it literally whenever you want. And it's really, really cool. So that one, there you go. Super late timing. I want to see if I can get, like, the really early one. Okay, so that one was pressed by... Uh, or done by pressing triangle not the R1 release. And so the only problem that I really have with this is that the R1 release and the triangle press, they don't exactly, I don't want to say they conflict, but um, it's like I mentioned earlier, it's, it's like a fail-safe method. So like if you do happen to get that proper timing right, then you're good. But if you wanted to pull this off in a certain portion of the move, it's going to be a little bit difficult because you could accidentally release R1 when you don't want to, and then you maybe get, you know, hit for it or whatever it is, and then, and then you know, you die or whatever. But again, yeah, this is a, a super cool find, and I want to show people, so I'm going to probably make a video about this and just like upload it see that one's with the r1 release that one's the okay there you go so that that was the one right there 
That was the triangle press. I did it instantly. Let me see how fast I can do it, actually. Yeah, that's as fast as I can do it. So, this just goes to show that it can be done with the triangle, uh, not just the R1 release. Um, I would kind of wish I had, like, a controller icon popping up, but, uh, yeah, so, again, super cool technique, um, I hope anybody who's watching likes this demonstration, and, uh, yeah, pretty cool, and that's, uh, that's everything.